A very good morning to all of you. My name is Ambika Thakur and I will teach you the course Sewing and Geometrics. This course is in the third semester of Civil Engineering and this is a professional course which is having a LTP of 310 and it is having a total credit of 4. This syllabus is framed according to PTU and each university and college having the same pattern for this course which is having whole division of internal and external marks. So that we will not discuss here. Our major focus is on the outcome of the course. Now we can see here what is the outcome of the course. After learning this course, you will learn the concept of various methods and techniques of surveying. So this is the major outcome of the course that after learning this course you will come to know that what are the basic methods that we use for performing the survey. The second one is if you can see here that to compute angles, distance, levels for the given area. So in this course students will learn that how to calculate angles, how to calculate distance and how to calculate the reduced level of the different points of the areas. Number three is apply the concept of tachymetry survey in difficult terrain and hilly areas. So the areas which is having a distorted ground or which is having a coastal areas, in that case we cannot use a simple tachymetry. So in that case we have to use this type of tachymetry in which some equations will be used and distance will be find out with the help of angles. After that. Select the appropriate instruments for the data collection and survey purpose. So in surveying we use different different instruments for the collection of data. So on the basis of that we will learn different types of surveying that is performed in the ancient time or in the modern era also. After that analyze and retrieve the information from remotely sensed data and interpret the data for the survey. So in this case we will learn that how Nowadays, modern surveying is performed and data is collected with the help of modern surveying and that is remote sensing and how data is interpreted with the help of softwares. The last one is understand the concept of GIS and GPS and analyze the geographical data. So as we have discussed that nowadays we are using a modern instruments and modern methods of surveying. So GIS and GPS both are the techniques that is used nowadays. So we will see the basic principle behind these two technology and how it is used uh, in case of geographical data. So this is the basic outcome of the course that we have to learn after getting the syllabus. Now we can see here that there are six units and these six units co covered these all topics that we have to cover in the next coming session.